Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm doing a breakdown on some games I've played recently in the Pigskin Junkies League here. This CFM has been very competitive. First two games, I, I really could have pulled out the wins. These two games are rough games. We're going to get into them here. So right away we see I'm going to hit this little drag just over the middle. So, you know, just kind of getting settled in. It's giving me something short, you know, finding something underneath there, around the little RPO. And I'm getting, you know, working the ball down here early in the game. Again, just finding little passes. He's always able to hold on to it there, luckily, and breaks that tackle, makes his way down the field. See, I'm getting into the red zone. I'm looking all right here, running the ball well. See, getting outside, making a move, almost almost beating him. And that was almost a touchdown there, which, you know, I've been doing pretty well here. And then again, running the other way, all getting closer. But I'm not able to really punch it in against this guy, and i got to take the field goal here. So I feel like this is probably the best point of the game for me right there. On defense, he starts running the ball and just gets great blocking and it's just, just killing me getting the ball downfield here. I, I just don't seem to have an answer for him either because then when I'm trying to adjust for the, for the run, he starts passing on me. Then again, he goes to a little RPO stretch run and burns me that way. When I, I just could never seem to really get my bearings on defense, trying to play a decent user, but he's breaking coverage, and then there just can't get there. I'm a little late with my user just right over the middle of the field. It's a... Uh, just rough sled in all game against uh, against the Oakland here, and he, he's just a great player. Did a great job. Now I'm passing the ball again, just trying to make little passes underneath. That probably should have gotten picked off that drag right there. Here again, just just trying to make little passes, running outside. I send one out, just barely keep it in bounds on the sideline. Again, I'm getting into field goal range. You know, cutting, making a nice little play up the middle there. He somehow holds on to it, and I just have to settle for another field goal. I think that's been the story of this uh, this game for me, just settling for field goals. I just can't seem to get my offense, even if I'm getting into the red zone, I can't seem to punch it in. And again, running the ball, just dominating on the ground against me. This under center uh, uh, offense that he's running against me is just burning me all day here. Again, see, running outside, just, uh, he just seems to get everything on me. I just can't seem to adjust. Even when I'm sending like six at him there, he's still just finding the road quick enough. Luckily here, he has to settle for just a field goal, though. So it's only 10-6. I can't do anything with it. In the th and then third, he's got the ball. And I'm able to at least get a get a turnover here. So finally, a little looking like I've got a chance at least. Somehow I'm in it. I've got the ball in the third quarter now. So here I'm trying to make some nice, simple reads. Pass it underneath there. Uh, so second and long, I'm able to make the conversion. Then here again, this little play right here drives me crazy. This is just is such a bad throw by him. And he just had, like no pressure either so it's just frustrating that that's gonna happen like let me look at it again at it here yeah no pressure on him at all they're like he's got so much time and this route just gets a little bit delayed i guess and he just gets picked off this really bugs me that it's just the one downside to when you're playing a uh a cfm with brand new guys here and i think it's because of the tight end he gets a little bit messed up he stumbles he kind of trips on a lineman there coming out of the backfield on this road and just messes up the timing on it because I felt like he should have broke and then been right there for that ball but instead I just throw it right to this defender and he's gonna pick that off so I kind of wasted my opportunity there when I when I when I got to turn over to get back into the game get my, my stupid field goals even I, I'm just unable to do it and I turned it over so again he's gonna start running the ball on me every time that run is just that you can just see the way that it's pinching over to that side and I just can't get in <laughs> to stop it. So even my user, I've got him right over there. And then when I do that to try to stop it, he runs the other way. So I click on, he does like an air truck and gets by me and he's going to get another touchdown. So he's just, just landed on me. There, I mean, I don't have much options here. Again, I thought that I, I feel like he kind of overthrew him here as well. Like the way that I thought it was going to go was going to be, I think, like kind of right to him. But instead it kind of goes. So here on, on, defense now uh, i'm again just watching over the run to the side i can get engaged there i'm trying to use her over the middle and then beats me deep i guess i just didn't have a deep half on the field right there i don't know if i can see that again well he ends up to be a pretty hefty victory there against me so i'm already 
0-4 or 0-3 in the league, and now I got to play one of the best players in my division, a player who I think we all know from if you're anywhere in the Madden community, I got to play Zan, who's in this league. He's a very good player. He runs Playbook.gg. I'll put a link below in how. Uh, you can join up and for ten bucks get some a bunch of ebooks and great stuff. You know, there's a bunch of team working on different schemes that you can definitely take a look at. And as you can see, the scheme he's going to run against me this game is pretty devastating. And I was trying my best to just hold him up here. You see, he starts off kind of running the ball a bit. He's got Russell Wilson. It's rolling outside, and then he can just take off with him. He just traded basically to. He knew he had trouble playing me. No, he knew. He, <laughs> I'm really getting my head handed to me in this league and, and not able to win some games. Again, yeah, this play here, he's rolling out with Russell Wilson, and he tries to take off with him. I'm going to get that lucky play that I stop him. So third and short, he's going to run the ball with Fournette, and we get a nice little hit on them, and we injure him. So I think from this point on, he's a little more careful running Fournette, but he's passing all over me. We see deep here, I'm trying to use that route, and I just can't keep up. Hilton's gonna Ty Hilton's gonna beat T.Y. Hilton's gonna beat me deep there and it was on me to use it I was trying I just couldn't keep up with it and then here I'm gonna run a little RPO outside with my first possession you know I'm moving the ball down the field there to the 47 um, but then on this next play here I'm taking a look deep here and I feel like I had the step on him but he, <laughs> he clicks on gets that big play from Desir there and you know what can I do I'm trying my best here he looked like he was open on that play honestly like let's take a look at this again Here's the RPO play. Um, I really feel like he had the step outside, and I guess I just didn't lead it outside enough, because look at him there, he blows past the outside cornerback, and he seemed open, but I just threw it, if I just thrown it a little more to those sidelines, maybe he could have gotten open. That's very frustrating early on. So it feels like right there is where I'm already losing the game, because giving him this extra a possession right off the bat here, I guess I do have the half, so I have a chance. So we do are able to get some pressure in there and get a sack. Again, we see here I'm trying to just User over in the middle of the field, watch out for these in rows, but again, he just that throws that one, he makes the leaping catch and gets another one. Again, he's just, I'm trying to watch these rows, but every time I do, he rolls out and playmakers someone up here in the middle of the field. He's got Fitzgerald at tight end, so he's making a bunch of moves on me. He's going to get the last few years he can out of him in the CFM. Again, he's looking short, he just does a little curl route to T.Y. Hilton, he's able to find him short, and then he's going to hand the ball off here to Fournette and just walk into the end zone untouched. So I feel like the game is pretty much over at this point right here. Wentz, I'm just throwing a little out route, trying to move the ball, you know, and I go for a long field goal here, it looks like, and I'm going to get my three. Way to go, time bomb. So I'm just playing terrible against him, and I just can't seem to lock him out down on defense. I'm watching the deep route there, I have to, I'm forced to use it deep, and he just throws kind of over the middle of the field for a little bit and again there anytime I think I have a play on a click on I see he does a diving catch animation and just burns me so I feel it's been a lot of a lot of trouble to get any stops and then he's just gonna walk in with Russell Wilson untouched and burn me there so it's the fourth quarter 21-3 I'm doing terribly all I got going for me is little out routes it seems here and there and I'm forced to punt from basically my own 20 and I go for a fake a fake punt just to try to keep the clock moving with 250 left but not nah, his ball and he's gonna get in for another touchdown there and this is gonna make it ugly because then I turned it over again and he's gonna get this little RPO play to put it in on me and burn me so all game long he was just finding dots out of this little single back scheme using this Oakland Raiders playbook and I mean he just dominated. It was a, it was a, t it was a tough game, but you know it was fun to play Zan. He's a really good player, and you know this is the way this league goes. Hopefully, you know I can keep building my team to get a bit more competitive, uh, figure out my offense a bit more. But it's going all right so far. We'll keep at it. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. I'm Time Bomb. You guys are awesome. I will catch you later. Boom, boom.